All right guys, welcome back for another video in the solar kiln build series. So, and so the next logical step is to put the roofing on. The reason I'm doing that before doing the sheathing or anything else, I want to try to prevent as much rain as I can from getting on the plywood floor in here. The way this tough Tex roofing works is I have a sheet of it back here and you'll see it as I'm putting it up. You're supposed to use these little foam like gaskets that go up underneath the crowns of the roofing to seal it off. I have some tiny nails that I'm just gonna go put in a few spots on each of these just to hold it in place while I put the roofing on. And then that will allow me to get the roofing in place, pre-drill the holes and screw the roofing panels on. So I'm just gonna get right into it and we'll see you in a bit. So I'm pre-drilling the plastic about an eighth of an inch wider than the screw is itself as it recommends. So this way when the rubber gasket that is on the screw kind of pulls itself into the surrounding edges of the screw and seals it. And then I just screwed it down kind of snug. So I'm gonna, I secured it up top to make it easy so it doesn't slide down and I wanted to do it from the top because then I can make sure that the top of the plastic lines up just right with the top of the frame because then I'm later going to bring some flashing in over the top of the frame as kind of like a ridge cap. So I'm going to go ahead and screw these ones in and I'll show you um, how I do that. So I wanted to point out something that I noticed and I thought when I got these one inch screws that they were going to be too short but it turns out the actually the one inch screws are going to be just fine because when the one inch screws pulls down on the crown of the roofing, it actually pulls it down so it's only about a half an inch from the wood and bites in about another half an inch. So I'm gonna put some down in the valley and some in the peak of the roof and make sure that it has a good seal both through the top and the bottom, which is where it's most important. So this shouldn't take too long. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish putting the rest of this roofing on.
I at least got all the roofing screwed in and secured so we'll be ready for the rain that we're gonna get tomorrow it's starting to get late and buggy again and so I'm just gonna start making dinner for the family and then um, I'll come back here clean this up cut the lower part of this off but anyway as usual I really appreciate you watching this series and hope you're enjoying it as much as I am I'm really looking forward to having this done so I can start loading it up with some wood and once I get all those logs back here of course start running that mill I'm gonna have a lot of it so I can't wait to start loading that up and getting some lumber dried if you could also give this video a thumbs up I'd really appreciate it and if you're new to this channel definitely consider subscribing so you get notified of when we put out future videos and you'll be able to see the rest of this build so until next time take care and we'll see you on the next video Good.